So the first thing we're going to look at are the principles of photography. There are three principles of photography. There's mood and lighting, and then there's staging, and then there's composition. So the first thing we're going to start off with is mood and lighting. Okay, in this example you can see uh, I put these four images in, and what mood and lighting is, basically it's, it's establishing the way your image is going to feel. So as you can see, there are four different images, but they're all skies. So the content is actually the same. I mean, if you're looking at the photos, they're all clouds, they're all skies. But what is it that makes them feel different? Well, if you look at them, the, the colors are very different. Uh, one looks very stark. You know, it's got lightning and it's uh, can feel very foreboding. The other one is very, uh, it's a blue sky and it's very nice. And so it evokes a feel. And so the important thing with lighting is that lighting can affect your mood and it can affect the way that a rendering feels and it can affect the way that uh, the rendering is going to evoke a feeling for uh, the building you're looking at. So this is another example of mood and lighting and these are what we call mood boards and uh, we've used this in our studio where uh, we'll set up different mood boards and what a mood board is is basically uh, it's combining content and putting it all together to figure out you know who who is our client and what type of content are we delivering in a certain manner. So in the first example you can see uh, on the left side, there's uh, some pictures of uh, a student and a uh, chalkboard and some bright primary colors. And a lot of that, you can look at that mood, mood board and you can see that it's probably geared towards uh, maybe a school district. It's maybe geared towards uh, you know, clients of a principal or teachers, something more elementary for, for kids. So the one in the middle, you can see that uh, it has a lot more uh, colors and lights and it's more uh, pop culture. It may be geared towards a younger generation. And the one on the right, you can see it has very cool colors and it's very professional and it's very clean. And that probably gives you the idea that you know, the content may be delivered towards someone who's more corporate or more professional, maybe someone who's uh, in the business world. So these mood boards establish who your client is and also what the content should look like. So in this example, this shows how mood can affect your rendering. The sky is blue and it's pretty straightforward daylighting. Uh, there's not much going on in the image. But if we look at the next example, this is the same building. The only difference is that the, uh, the lighting has changed and it's more of an afternoon shot. And also the perspective is a little different. It's, it's more of a, a wider angle. It's more of a forced perspective. And what, what that does is, is the lighting in conjunction with the perspective really makes it a dramatic shot. So, this is just an example of how mood can really affect the way a building looks. Even though it's the same building, the lighting can change the way a building feels. Here's another example, and it's the same shot. There's nothing really different about it. It's a day, day shot and a night shot. The only difference is that the time of the day uh, has changed, and it also changes the way that uh, you look at the building. It also changes the way that the building feels.